Welcome back to another video. Now look, if you're watching this video, this reading, this message, this spiritual information is for you. Information comes to us in the moment and we can use the information to transform our thinking or to expand our thinking or to expand our perspective. It also gives us the chance to let go of what we were already thinking or believing and get that blank space, that identity shift up into that blank canvas space of our consciousness, our awareness, our spirit. So every reading, every video on my YouTube channel, if you just pause and breathe, get calm and get into that spiritual blank space of your makeup, your spiritual identity, if you shift your identity into there and watch the videos, you're going to hear information and that information is going to play on the strings of the data of your personal life. All of your past experiences, all of your knowings, all of your self-knowledge, all of your emotional experiences, they're all sitting there with you. You as a conscious awareness spirit and you as a personal set of data, an ego self, a database. That is <laughs> going to be a great thing because when this reading happens, you're going to be seeing it through yourself. You're hearing it through your data. That's why all my readings are timeless. That's why it doesn't matter who is watching this. If you're here, it's for you. Oh, so goody, good, good. You're going to get exactly what you need. Spirit always gives us what we need, not always what we want. Let's see what flies in right here. Ah, ah, publicity, publicity. Now look, don't worry about the word. First of all, sometimes we are drawn towards language, towards words, because words have meaning and we've used words over and over again. For example, I use the word Brian, Brian, Brian. Whenever I hear the word Brian, I think of myself mostly because it has been ingrained in me. So when you see the word publicity, huh, don't bother with it for a moment. Just let it go. Feel that urge to try to define it as <laughs> what it means, you know, see it as the newspaper and some kind of a scandal or some kind of a news story. Publicity, publicity. See it as advertising like we normally do. Publicity, publicity. But let it go. Let it go for a second. And let's look. Pub, pub, pub. Ooh, are we going to go drinking? Pub. Let's break it apart. Let's bust it open. Pub, not pub, not drinking. We are going to go drinking of a new little bit of meaning from this word publicity. Publicity, public city, public city, public city. This is a city that we are all in. It is a consciousness, spiritual, star-like city, star-like city that we are all in. We're all inside of a spiritual story, a public city. It's open to those who are open-minded to who they really are as a consciousness, awareness, spirit, as the angel inside you, here you are. And if you are able to shift your identity to know you are that spiritual being having a human experience, then you entered into this public city of spiritual knowledge, spiritual inferences, spiritual coincidences, spiritual publicity. <laughs> because God's source universe is very public, meeting you exactly where you're at. The stars are there and you are touching them and you are pointing to them. You know what's funny about this card? I'll tell you what's funny about this card. This sticky note that I have <laughs> in my window. Now, isn't that interesting? Why do I have a sticky note that looks like this? Then I pull a card that has somebody pointing up to the star. Oh, you know how I feel when I'm hearing this reading? The reading's for me as well, you know. Amazing. I know when I see stuff like this, that God's source universe is speaking personally, directly to me, as well as anyone else who has ears to hear and who has an open mind to go in and enter into that new world. This right here is called the new earth. This is your green heart chakra, which is that spiritual part of us, that spiritual identity. And you can see it's green here, and you can see there's other colors in there. This is what the new earth looks like. It looks like abstract interpretation rather than literal interpretation. Being on the spiritual basis means you're going to think and see things in new ways, like we did with the word publicity. You're going to see it as publicity, but also public city, and also use it to expand your conscious thinking, to expand your knowledge base on 
things around you, to renew your mind, to renew your mind. That's what it means to be, in a big way, on the spiritual basis. It's not the only thing it means, but I'm, I'm trying to tell you in the reading, I'm being told to say, and this is really where we all belong right now, the reading's for you, told to say that the new earth really is, one facet of it really is, seeing and hearing things in a metaphorical or spiritual way, seeing how they apply to you, setting the attention that, all right, God is saying something to me through people, places, and things around me, through this reading that Brian is doing. Brian's nothing special. The card is nothing special. The words are nothing special. They're just pieces of paper. But what is special? You. You, my friend, are the special consciousness, spirit, little spark of intelligent source inside of a human being's personal life. No one will ever match you. And you are doing what? You are pointing up towards the stars when you know you are a spiritual being. You are looking for what the stars are telling you and what they mean to you. This is a type of publicity that you really want to give yourself. You want to give yourself the news stories about you. The new stories, news, new, new stories, the new stories that are arising that are about you. This one's about me. I've got these sticky notes all over my apartment, my house apartment. Huh. I have both. How can that be? That's kind of cool to have an abundance when you have both a house and an apartment as one. And in a real way, that's what we are. We are a mansion, meaning that we are a spiritual self and we are a mortal self combined and all of the different iterations of ourself, ourself at five years old, ourself at six years old, and on and on, ourself as a advertising executive, or ourself as a artist, or ourself as a musician, or a gardener, or a mom, or a dad, or a whatever, a skier, a marathon runner, ourself, all our little roles that we play in the world, as that angel that enters into the world and plays all those little roles. Look at, there's some abstract representation of those roles right here, represented by the four quadrants. The blue, the yellow, the green, the red. Different parts, family life, work life, mm, individual time, meditation time, reading time, whatever time. You are a database of a lot of different roles, but none of those are who you really are, right? You're the thing behind that. You're the angel beyond the world. You are the one <laughs> God living inside of you and having a personal experience. So. The other thing we see in this card is what? You got the little flag with the little sunlight. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are uh, toting your sunlight flag, meaning that you are on the team. The flag is the team colors of the spiritual beings, spiritual star beings, spiritual one sun, one light, son of God, daughter, son and daughter of God, children of God, right? Now look, it's important that you figure out who you are. Don't let the words fool you or trip you up. Don't let the word Jesus Christ or God trip you up. Find a way to get past the words. And you can do that if you let go of the literal interpretation of them for a moment so that you can step out of the literal world and into the metaphorical spiritual world where all the stars are really bringing new light into your conscious mind. And in there, you're going to get crystallized little crystal eyes, huh. crystal lies, little ideas, little I, 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 third I, I, ideas. Look how it works. Little crystal eyes, little third eyes, ideas, dias. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to deal them out to the world, to the world. And the world is going to get those. Look at it here. In the world, we are casting out all these rays of sunlight. You can see the rays here and you can see them here. So what happens up here eventually happens down there in our personal life. And that is a very important thing. We are a conduit, a channel for inspired ideas and energy for images, imaginary images and emotional energy to come into the world and come out into the world through our thoughts, through our actions, through our behaviors, through our tones of voice, through our emotional expressions. So know your identity. It's a very public city. There's more and more of us. Think about this. There's more spiritual people around you in your city here to help you. I'm one of them. I have traded myself for the spiritual self and the two of them have now become combined and come back into the world of day-to-day -day life. So I'm making a YouTube video, being a clairvoyant psychic reader, blah, 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 blah. I'm playing those roles so that I can be crossing that bridge to where you are 
when you cross that bridge to this space, this group, this YouTube channel, this spiritual place that we are meeting in and that we are talking about new spiritual things that you can really use in a day-to-day -day experience. So keep pointing to the stars, keep telling them like, oh my God, oh my God, do you see that? Do you see that? Even if they're like, you're crazy. If they say that to you, if they're like, oh, you're nuts, what you're talking about that, just know that you can pause and breathe. You can remember who you really are, that you're not nuts. Instead, you are a child of God bringing new things into the world. And perhaps in that moment, they just don't quite see it because they're looking at life in a literal way, a literal, concrete, old way, the way they were taught or the way they knew yesterday, yesterday. And they're just drawing on their memories. They're not drawing on their inspiration and memories combined, on their spirit and their self combined. They're still just drawing on self, self, self. And it's not bad. It's just phases of <laughs> growth. And we're all in it. We're all being conformed more and more into the image of this white light experience that is bringing new things into the world. So celebrate others. If you look at others and you celebrate the unique things that you're noticing in them, or if you tell them back the cool things you're hearing and you're experiencing in what they're sharing, then you're going to let them know that their words are otherworldly, that their lives are delivering a light that is meeting you in your personal life in a way that's miraculous and life-changing and renewing of the mind. So enjoy your day. Oh, subscribe to this channel. I am your spiritual friend. Dude, listen, look, why am I here? To make these videos to help other people realize more and more or have fellowship more and more with this spiritual public city that we are all invited and inheriting every single day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. I'll see you in another video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you experience by listening to all this. Let me know what bubbles up because the information you share is going to help heal. And eh, not that we need to heal anybody. It's going to help expand. Yeah, that's the word. Expand the world in beautiful new ways. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for having that open mind. Enjoy.